Hello again YouTube, I'm back once again with the two month update on my hair transplant that was done in Istanbul, Turkey. Um, yeah, details below of how many graphs ETC. Um, yeah, I said I'd keep you with me throughout the good times, the bad times, and uh, yeah, this is definitely, I am definitely 100% in the ugly duckling phase now, as you can see. I haven't touched the top since the transplant, and that was, you know, four, eight weeks ago now, so exactly two months and one day to be precise. Today's date is the 15th of April, and I had it up done on the 14th of February 2022. Um, I did cut the sides and back once uh, at the four week stage just so I could get access to the donor area to be able to apply the 10 skin and the other products that I was using just to like um, to help the donor area heal. Um, yeah, let me give you a better view. So there's a close up of the front. Let me see if I can tap the screen to get a bit of focus for you. Yeah, there's the front. I did have this little tough hair at the, well, before the up, um, I don't know why, that just decided to never go anywhere. But there was, this area here, there was nothing before. So some of the hairs have held on. And again, here there was nothing, which that, that is pretty much slick at the moment, but there was nothing here on this side either. So some have just held on since the up and just have not gone anywhere and have continued to grow. Obviously, <laughs> it's looking a bit crazy. But yeah, I'll give you a view of where I look down. Hopefully, I've got focus again. That's how the top's looking. And we'll keep it the same style as the previous video so you've got something to compare back and forth to. That's the one side. Here's the burner. That's four weeks of growth since like last time I cut it one month ago with the two guard. So that's four weeks of growth. And the final side. Hopefully that's in view. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I suppose I'll go into what I've been doing for the last four weeks. I've been uh, rocking the hat, shall I say. Wherever I go, the trusty cap comes with me because, you know, I am walking around like it's, it's nuts. <laughs> uh, yeah. What else? So I've started using the Rotera thing, the package that I got in Turkey when I was there from Askitajan. Um, what does that consist of? There's some, you get a derma roller, which I've started using this week. I, well, I just use it weekly, and again with that, I just roll it over the head for about two, three minutes at a time, uh, and then apply serum and just rub that into my head. Uh, I've been taking the pills that they give you. Um, it's like basically a multivitamin, but everything to do with hair. So it looks like this. It's a food supplement. Let's see if we can get focus. Just a food supplement. You can probably find different alternative ones. Um, I'll put in the bottom corner now a little view of what exactly... Sorry, somewhere there. Yeah. I'll put a... Uh, a view of exactly what's in them. Uh, you've got a whole different list of ingredients. Uh, I'm not sure how much they actually do work, but I'm, I can imagine some of them are creatine, biotin, and um, a long list of different multivitamins. But yeah, I've been taking them twice daily. I just once in the morning after I've eaten to help the. F uh, I've read that you never take a multivitamin without having some food, you know, first. So I'd eat and then I'll take a pill once in the morning and once after my evening meal. I just do that twice daily. Hopefully that's giving me something for the body that's just going to help, you know, the hair grow and heal. Um, there's also a spray on anti-itching foam, which again I've been using, but I've not suffered with any itching so far with this. I can't actually do it now because I haven't done it today yet. You just... It looks like it's hair repair serum. Let's see if we get focus. Maybe no. Ah. Anyway, with this, five little sprays. And again, I'll just massage that into the scalp. And that's just meant to help with any more hair loss. Just give it that moisture into the uh, follicles. 
just to let them uh, soak it all in. Uh, and yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know how much that's working. I don't know if it's more of a gimmick or if it's worth purchasing. But I'd say the best part about it has probably been the food supplement. Maybe I'm getting some type of um, placebo effect. But I feel like, you know, any type of multivitamin's got to be good for the body. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I recommend it or not. I'd say you could probably do your research online and find your own different product. Okay, so my final verdict on the Proterra Advanced Hair Repair uh, Treatment, three month treatment kit. I'd say if you've got $250 or you know, equivalent of £220, £205 pounds to spend on um, on that, then yeah, go ahead. But it's not, I wouldn't say it was a necessity. I've done it as precaution, as an extra. So yeah, I'm sure you can buy multivitamins online that, that do a similar thing. Um, yeah, again, it's a personal choice. Uh, I will use it, but when it's gone, I don't know if I'll be following up with that. Maybe just give the hair a chance for the first three months, particularly month two, three, and four. Uh, yeah, I'll use it and use the serums daily. And hopefully we get some good results. But I'll keep you posted. Just trying to think other things I've been up to. Um, I've been back training, so I've been back lifting weights again. And back at the gym, of course, with my trusty hat. Uh, yeah, just not doing too much cardio because you don't want to sweat too much, obviously, for the early stages. But I'd say because I'm two months in now, I'm not too too worried about sweating. It's just more, yeah, just less cardio, more heavy lifting. And that's been great for my um, just like mental health and having, my, having that staple in life of waking up and going to the gym or going after work and getting that in. And of course, uh, I feel like if the body's healthier, if the blood's pumping around the body, you're going to have a better chance of a success with this. But either way, I'm going to bring you along for the journey and monitor month by month updates on my hair. Just I know there's other guys out there who are wondering, is this something for them? Do they want this? Uh, is this something they could think about? But uh, yeah, I'll keep you through it no matter what, regardless if it's a... Uh, a success story or a fail even if it's a fail I'll, I'll still post don't worry <laughs> but I mean like I say I've been shaving my head for many years worst case scenario to me uh, I'll just shave it back down you know I've got that skull micro pigmentation underneath anyway and I was quite happy like that for like seven eight years um, prior to having this opting to have this hair transplant and to be honest with you, where I am right now, I actually prefer the shave and feel like this. Wearing a hat, I never realised how much hair actually irritate, how irritating it is. Like, you know, being bold comes with privileges. Like, you know, you don't have to worry about a haircut. You don't have that itchiness above your ears. Or like, for someone who's had hair your whole life, if you've had it or you've never shaven your head, I don't think you understand how. Uh, how a shaven head can feel quite clean like it can feel quite uh no itchiness no irritation nothing to rub against you know if can um i am missing it at the moment i'm looking forward to shaving this down at least the sides in fact i might do that after this video uh i won't touch the top i'll just leave that till the five six month stage but i'll definitely shave down the, the sides after this video i think so in my next video you'll see most of this gone probably um, yeah, good luck to anyone going out to Asli Tarjan or any any clinic in Istanbul and getting this done. You know, it's a, it's a big step. Hopefully it's one that pays off for us. And there's a great community of guys who are, are going through the same thing. Um, there's Facebook groups. Um, I'm, uh, I'm a member of a few. There's a Nogaden, which was where I first seen all this. I've been following that. But yeah, definitely... Uh, I'll keep you as posted regardless of the results. But yeah, that's it for my uh, two month update and I'll join you back for the three month. Yeah, peace. Oh, just before I go, I had a thought that came to mind. Um, in the description below, I'm gonna write a list of each product that I'm using because sometimes when I'm making the videos, I forget to actually mention and it's a lot of information to keep up the top. So. 
I'm going to put a list of each item that I'm using and the benefits and a bit of the science behind it. Just you know, saves you guys doing your research because these are things I've had to look up and it'll save you going here and here and here to find that information. So yeah, peace, hit you with that fist again. Boom.